All right, number 376, that's the rookie stars. For the Kansas City Royals, 1969. Gary Bell. Gary's still alive. He's 86 years old. Uh, Tommy John. Uh, Tommy John called him a happy-go-lucky uh, right-hander and one of the biggest drinkers on the team. Uh, he was a serious competitor with a great sense of humor. Number 377, Gary Bell. 378, Jose. This is his, Jose's rookie card. He died October the 16th, 2009. Uh, he was 67 years old when he passed away. He was part of four seasons, and he hit two home runs in the major leagues. Only two home runs. <clears throat> Ken Boyer. Ken died September the 7th, 1982. Ken was 51 years old when he passed away. Of course, that's Cleet Boyer, the Braves' brother. Uh, he died of cancer. Stans, he's 78. He's still alive. Uh, he works in the promotions department of uh, MSC Cruises and... Uh, Seeking and securing retired major league players to participate in activities on cruise ships, such as autograph sessions and storytelling. So he's still working with baseball with Cruise Line. Stan Bashan. Ed Cranepool. Ed's still alive. He's 78 years old. Uh, after retirement from baseball, he made a living as a stockbroker and a restaurateur. So he was in the restaurant business and in the stock business, stock market business. Still alive at 78. Pat Corrales. Pat's still alive. He's 82 years old. Uh, in high school, he was both a baseball and a football star. Pat Corrales, 82, still alive. Casey Cox. <clears throat> Casey Cox still alive. He's 81 years old. And he was a uh, entered the world of insurance after his baseball career. <clears throat> then you got a manager's card, Larry Shepard. <clears throat> Excuse me. Orlando Cepeda. Orlando's still alive. He's 85 years old now. Uh, he belongs to 14 Hall of Fames, the most by any Puerto Rican athlete. And 14 Hall of Fames. Jim McLaughlin. Jim died November, uh, December 23rd, 1975. He was only 32 years old when he passed. Although the uh, initial diagnosis was uh, late stage stomach cancer. That was incorrect. Uh, he proved to have untreatable form of leukemia. Bobby Kloss. Bobby's still alive. He's 85 years old. Uh, 1965 would be end up being Klaus's final season in the big leagues. No, that's not right. 1975, probably. Tom McGraw. Tom's still alive. He's 82 years old. He served as a batting coach under... Uh, Frank Robinson, manager Frank Robinson on four different teams. So Tom traveled around with Frank a good bit. Dan Combs. Dan's still alive. He's 81 years old. 
Danny played nine seasons, continued in baseball at the high school level as a head coach. Then you got Bill Freeman. Bill Freeman passed away on August the 19th, 2021. Uh, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Ray Cup. Ray Cup's still alive. He's 81. His first year was an impressive one. He compiled a 14-11 win-loss record for the Phillies, was eighth in the National League in strikeouts, although his control was a little shaky. Leading, He also led the league in walks with 102 that year. So good stuff, but no control. Ray Cup. Bob Berta, this is his rookie card. Uh, Bob's still alive. He spent 15 seasons from 1958 to 1972 in professional baseball. Gene Barbender died of a brain aneurysm. December 27th, 1996, he was 55 years old. Then you got the Pilots rookie card, 1969, which uh, Lou Pinella went on to be a manager. Then we got Chris Short. Chris died October 1st, 1991. He was 53 years old when he passed. Uh, in October of 88, he suffered a ruptured brain aneurysm, lapsing into a coma. He died August 1st, 91, uh, in a convalescent home, having never regained consciousness. So from 88 to 91, three years of unconscious. So sad. Jim Campanellis. Uh, Jim's still alive. He's 79 years old. He was working with the Dodgers when they won the World Series in 1988. Chuck Dobson. Chuck Dobson died November the 30th. 2021. He was 77 years old. Uh, he represented the United States in baseball at the 1964 Olympics as a demonstration for sport before it was actual sport. Tito Francona. Tito died February 13th, 2018. Tito was 84 years old. Uh, Francona was the director of Parks and Recreations in New, Brick, New Brighton, Pennsylvania. Tito. Bob Bailey. Bob Bailey passed away January the 9th, 2018. In high school, he quarterbacked the football team for two years, one which went undefeated. So a very good Football player also, Bob Bailey. And then number 400, Don Drysdale. Don passed away July the 3rd, 1993. Uh, he was 56 years old. Hotel personnel went up to Drysdale's room. And they discovered his body lying face down on the floor. Cause of death was ruled as a heart attack, and the coroner's report determined that Drysdale had been dead for at least 18 hours by the time he was found. Don Drysdale. 